Punta Espinosa on volcanic Fernandina Island, one of the most active volcanoes in the world and home to hordes of marine iguanas. the flightless cormorant, an extreme example of adaptive evolution. With no predators to flee, they no longer need the utility of their wings. They've traded their flight for the ability to dive deeply for their food. This male, in a mating ritual, bringing gifts for the female of his attention. Another pair already made it, protecting their egg. Flightless cormorant is not the biggest cormorant in our planet, but it's the heaviest cormorant in our planet. They increase the volume of the body to become heavier, to become larger, because that will be an advantage to go in the water and get deeper areas to get the food supply. Morning at Punta Suarez on the island of Española, one of the richest wildlife locations in the Galapagos. This is Española marine iguana, that is Española lavaliza, found here and nowhere else. wildlife here are wonderfully naive. Lacking no real predators, they waste no time or energy on fear, blasé to the non-threatening creatures around them. Darwin's finches, 13 species in all. Coming from a common ancestor, they adapted different beaks to fit their changing food sources. the mating dance of the blue-footed booby. So if the female likes that, that male and the place, she will get closer. And then you will see the 
their feet. That's uh, they will go like this, one foot, the other foot. Floriana, an island alive with abundant plant life. You talk about evolution, the textbook example are the finches, when you talk about birds. But when you talk about plants, this is a great example, the Escalesia. Uh, from one ancestor, we have 21 kinds. So this is like with the finches, this is adaptive radiation. You know, from one, it radiated into all these many kinds, 21 kinds of species. Some species. These ones are always green, and that is because they have these very good adaptations. They have this extra waxy protection, leather leaf. The tree itself is a holy tree, H-O-L-Y, because it smells like incense. You can see the traps on the beach and you can see all of these holes in the sand. Those are nests. There is a, a long track coming all the way up here. So they nest here and they were nesting last night. You can see the tracks are fresh. So in each of these holes there are eggs of sea turtles. 70 eggs, 80 eggs. That's what a female lays every time. 